See, the truth is, what we're doing right now is, see, our story has to be renewed once every 24,000 years, once every equinox. You follow me? Yes. Now, but it cannot be renewed until it is retold in its entirety, meaning the whole story has got to be what? Told. Told. That's my job. You see? Mm -hmm. I'm the reminder. You follow? Yes. And my father is the reformer. Reformation needs to reform something. So we're talking about total renewal of the entire blue rock. The way Pops described it is everything old Must. we'll get rid of. Mm -hmm. We'll repaint, refix up everything that is worth being fixed up. And any, anything that's broken, we'll throw it what? Away. Away. We don't want anything, listen, that cannot be renewed in a real sort of kind of way. Now, and we have to break up this concrete because they have glazed the whole globe with this crap. Right. See, and people don't realize what concrete does to the human body. You see, that's why you have controlled environments. See, it's a gland which enables you to pray. And what is prayer? Prayer is a form of communication. You see what I'm saying? In fact, that's exactly what it is. It's communication. Now, and what enables you to pray, to pray is your pineal gland. Your pineal gland. You see? Just, that's why they call, you know, the prisons the penal system. Because they call them controlled environments. You follow me? And they are. Because the body recharges its energy when you eat and when you what? Sleep. Right? right? Now, in the penitentiary, the two predominant materials that those places are created of is, listen, concrete and steel. Now, why concrete and steel? I'll tell you why. Steel, however, they won't admit to it, but they try to say that their second name is, listen, safety. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're there... Uh, in a correctional institution right. to serve your time and get out. And they have to see to it that you get out alive. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Technically. But the reality of it is, is that these motherfuckers, do you know they, they caught police in Corcoran, uh, uh, state, Corcoran, Corcoran, California State Prison, uh, gambling on who would kill who. Like, see, Nathaniels and Sorenos, Southern Mexicans and Northern Mexicans have a vow to take flight on sight. As soon as they see each other, bam, they go at it. And it is no joke, my nigga. And see, what the police would do is right before Christmas, they'll bring in, like say if it's a Southern prison, right? They'll bring in a whole lot of Nathaniels from Northern California, right. busload of them, right before Christmas, and see, and then as soon as they get there, ride kick off, back, right? And then they lock the whole prison down. Meanwhile, they get hazard pay, triple, yeah, they get they get way, way, way more money. They slick as grease. The police, they run these penal institutions here. You see, and you have to know by the way they're designed, that they were created by Freemasons because you have certain cells, and you know that in a real way has a, a, a you know a bar, you know like the regular bars that they close, and then they got a gate over that yeah. and a plexiglass gate over that, yeah. where a motherfucker even if you get to the deepest end of the cell, they stick them cattle rods up in there yeah. and shock your ass, right? And they, they, they let the fire hydrant, you know, the water loose on you. Mm -hmm. Fuck you up real good, too. You know, all that type of shit. See, and you can tell by the way the cells were designed that they were designed by a diabolical mind. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You know, who declared himself to be a master what? Mm -hmm. Builder. Mm -hmm. A 
master builder. See, well, they done built their way into a situation now. See, because all they're doing is about to be their own unwhat doing. Because the reality of it is, is like I said, once every 24,000 years, our story has to be renewed. And it cannot be renewed if it is not retold in its entirety. Like in other words, they say they re that we recorded our legacy on the walls of ancient Tamaray. No, that's not true. We recorded our legacy. See, because you can't record something until you first, what, record it. Now, what is a chord? A chord is four musical what? Notes. Notes. And a note, watch now, is a sound, but it's also what? A letter. A small what? Letter. Like you have uh, these books in your Bible, right? Watch now. That they say are books, but in reality were not books, they were letters. Fifteen of them was written by Paul, the disciple, or the Seba, because Paul never met me on the way to Damascus. You see what I'm saying? And everything I said do, he did the exact opposite. I said, I come not to the Gentiles. Take not my words to the Gentiles. He declared himself an apostle sent to the what? Gentiles. You see? And if you read in Romans and the book of Acts, see, there's three different times that he talks in terms of having met me on the road to Damascus. And it's the first time, it's not told by him, it's told by Luke. You see, because Luke is a student of Paul. Like if I say, who was Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Most will say disciples. Because, you know, you will not find the name Mark or Luke nowhere amongst the 12. You see what I'm saying? Right. These were students of what? Paul. Yeah. Now, he told about having met me on the road to Damascus to Luke who retells the story, and then Paul himself tells the story two other times in the book of Romans and in the book of Acts. And if you pay very close attention, each time he tells the story, he contradicts himself. Because one time he said, the men that were with me saw not the light, but did hear the voice. And then another time he said, the men that were with me, listen, Heard the voice, listen, saw the light, but heard not the voice. You see? Mm -hmm. And that I was the only one who fell to the ground. And another time he said, we all fell to the what? Ground. And then in Romans 3.10, I believe, no, that's where he says, so what if I lied? Just so long as good came by way of my lie, what difference does it make, basically? You see, how have we been reported as, you know, slanders of the truth or whatever, whatever. You follow? Mm -hmm. And that's because the lie that he told was about having met me in the first place. See, Paul was a, the police. He was a Roman, listen, a Roman uh, soldier who was, who was the police. You see what I'm saying? Right. And he wanted to establish a following for himself. So this is why he said he had declared himself an apostle sent to the Gentiles. You see? And again, in the year 632 AD, when Constantine, who was a Roman emperor, no, excuse me, Caesar, Constantine had a fetish for reading. And so he got a hold of Couple of manuscripts written about this miraculous little cat, Umwa. Mm -hmm. And he felt so madly uh, uh, driven by, you know, the information that he sent his people far and wide to gather every book that he, they could in reference to this miraculous cat. <laughs> little Umwa, right? Now, what? But he gathered so many books. Mm -hmm. That he couldn't read them all, so he appointed, he appointed 12 other readers besides himself. 
And they became known as the Council of Nicaea, mm -hmm. saying that, listen, they like the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and what? John. Yeah. But they really like the books of this guy, this guy named Paul, mm -hmm. which were not books at what? All. They were letters. What now? Letters. Let her. Let her. You see? What now? Because, like I said, there's two hermeses. And you have to know that Tuhuti is her niece. And they say that the Egyptian Hermes was called Hermes Trimegistas. And they say it meant three times, no, thrice greatest. It doesn't mean that. You know, it means three times fat. Trimegistas, mega, megistas. Tri means three. Megistas, three times fat. Three times big. You follow me? Now why? Because he ate tremendous amounts of spinach and bread with poppy, poppy seeds that made him so very big. Yeah. And you have to understand that Tuhuti is the one who invented cartoons for children. Mm -hmm. Because we had the way to film and show you know, imagery long before you know, Merlin and his Hollywood, Hollywood ever even thought about cinematography. You follow what I'm saying? But the truth of the matter is, is that when you talk about uh, theatrics, right? We, in order to be a good actor, you have to be a good liar. And Nubians are not that. It wasn't until Sidney Poitier that you had a Nubian actor that was renowned enough. See, because you have to keep in mind, acting is a craft by which Check this out. You have to be convincing. And what makes a good movie great? It's called draining the humanity. It's where the writer gets his audience to identify with something that is identifiable by us all. And what makes a good movie great is when you can get your audience to cry. You follow me? And like if anybody out there has seen that movie called Imitate Life, that's one of the biggest, baddest ones I've ever known. <laughs> yeah, because every time it come on, I bust out crying. And when I catch myself crying, I, I bust out laughing. <laughs> so they got me. <laughs> got me good, too, you see? Now, so our story has to be retold in its entirety. Well, the starting of it starts by virtue of the fact that in, listen, mm -hmm. and learn. We came here seeking out two galactical criminals mm -hmm. who had broken galactical what? Law. Law. One was first called, listen, Azalzilla. Because we had did battle with these beings. His father, long before he was ever even thought of and totally wiped his father and their kind out. His father's name was Jan, ruler of the Jans. And listen, they were angelic beings who burned total bright red. While we are angelic beings who burn, listen, the green light. You follow? Well, only one survived after that last war, and that was a baby chur burning pure red light, who my father took into his care and adopted him. Picked him up, put him in his bosom, and carried him home. He became known as Azal Zilla, the one who was removed. That's what his name meant. The one who was removed. He then started to burn 
amber, which is a mixture of green and red at the same time. Until it came to pass that an order came down that everyone was to bow to a being who had 360 degrees of knowledge. While as angelic beings, at that time or place, there was only 180 degrees of knowledge. In other words, they could not say no. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They didn't have it in them. There wasn't 180 degrees of negativity. It was only 180 degrees of what? Positivity. And this being, who they were being told to bow to, had 360 degrees of knowledge. 180 degrees of positivity and 180 degrees of negativity, which gave him a mind of his what? Own. Well, he, he exercised will. Notice I didn't call it free what? Because will, they, like they say, that God created Adam and put him in the garden and gave him free will. See? And will is not free unless you exercise your will in the right what? Right. Exactly. Because if you don't, then there is, is, there's a price to pay. It's called karmatic debt that you will pay without question. And you have to keep in mind, time doesn't exist. Yeah. So, whether you pay now <laughs> or pay later, <laughs> you're going to pay. Because you paid, listen, more attention to play than you did to the things that you were supposed to. Because you have to keep in mind, a demon demonstrates his power. That's a demon coming straight at you. We don't demonstrate our power. We display it for all eyes to see, like all eyes on me. Watch. Which was Tupac. Watch. And all eyes on Egypt. Well, you wonder why the Bible calls our stores that. I'll tell you why. Because everything Tupac penned and put the writing, guess who his muse was? Bob. Bible wrote everything Tupac. <laughs> yeah. See? Now what? And so, all eyes on me. What? I came to bring the pain, hardcore to the brain. Wait, hey, now what? 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 Picture me right. <laughs> see? And I see? Now this here, because the angel Michael is arranging what? And you don't play like who shot you? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, he went round and round, and what you had here is a situation because as we came out of the waters, first, you have to understand your book of Genesis is written in the third person narrative. What's the difference between the third person narrative and the first person? First person would be uh, an account by self, and third person is talking about something that you weren't part of. And absolutely. In other words, the writer will say, if it is a first person narrative, the writer will say, and I did this, and I did that. Are you with me? Yes. A third person narrative, the writer will say, and he did this, or they did that, or she did that, or he did that. You follow? Mm -hmm. So you have a narrator. Well, it's going to get greater later. <laughs> but what I said yesterday, one minute too long can be one minute too what? Too late. Because what stands opposite enthusiasm? Procrastination. So as a nation of people, the procrastinating days have come and what? Gone. You have to be gone out your mind. If you think for one minute that any of you have gotten this information, 
for absolutely no reason. If indeed you come in contact with a level of information this profound, this great, each one of you who had and did are reincarnates. And the truth of the matter is, the book of Genesis should have never been called Genesis in the first what? Because that's the genealogy of what? Isis. And you know in your book of Genesis, listen, Revelation, it said there was war in heaven. Mikael and his angelic beings fought against the dragon and his angelic beings. That old serpent, which is, listen, indicated that there's about to be a new what? Called that old serpent, called the what? Devil. And Satan. Watch. Watch Satan. And Satan. And Satan. Wah means and Satan. A thing of what? Clay. That's what Satan means. Wah Satan. Okay? And. What? A thing of what? Clay. Yeah. So now you're talking about the physical composition. Follow me now. Because if you take the word devil and turn it around, you'll get lived. Lived. If you turn the word evil around, you'll get lived. Like I asked you all, do you want to live? Everybody thinking I'm talking about why, because we're all about the what? Die. Yeah. No, I'm saying for the very first what? Turn. Because living is one thing, but eternally mm -hmm. living is a whole what? No. Another thing. And see, you have already been afforded life. E L I L. If you turn it what? Right? Now why do I say turn it backwards? Because on the other side of the mirror, <laughs> really, on this side of the mirror, because your mirrors are not true what? Because when you write something down, you see it backwards. We should let you know there's something drastically wrong. What? Here. Because you don't spell wrong, W-R-O-N-G. You spell it R-O-N-G all day long. But common sense is sometimes the hardest sense to have. Want to know why? Because it's common. It's like looking for the salt. It's right there in front of your face the whole time. But you're blind. Just don't see it. <laughs> well, Stevie one day ain't gonna be wondering why. And you all won't be wondering neither. Because everything you want to know, listen, all answers shall be revealed. Meaning decipher. See? Because the circle, how smart were they? I mean, good lord. They couldn't look at the moon and see that it wasn't square. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't look and see that the planet wasn't square. What? Even, either, because these are the same damn fools they say. If you go way out there and you keep going, you'll drop off. <laughs> see, that's before they were scared to go past the horizon. Yeah, yeah. See, because they say if you go way out there, you drop off. Because the world to them was what? Flat. Right? right? And keep in mind you have circle of fifths, five musical notes that they say E, G, B, D, F sharp. Now that F sharp is what caused you all the fish to fly in your home. <laughs> The knife to be whirled, that's your brother, from the sister. Yeah. And sister, ooh-wee, <laughs> boy, the 
let me tell you something. You know. Because for real, you say, how much money you got? I ain't got to tell you how much money I got. I don't even tell my father that. Yeah, but you tell the white folks, though. When you go down there and they ask you, how much money you got in the savings account? How many people in the home? What, what's the children's name? When their birthday? And do you realize what they can do to you and your child just knowing your child's birth date and name? With a thing called voodoo. Palais vous, Francais. The practitioner is thinking only about themselves. Because when you say vous, you say, do you? What? Palais vous, Francais. Do you speak French? So you know vous means what? You. So it's a science that is only about what? You. Right? And the way you practice, you, you can do it, it's just real simple. It'll be like, say, for instance, you got somebody you don't like, you get you a pack of cookies. Hold on to them cookies and say, I can't stand that motherfucker. That motherfucker get on my damn nerve. And then, you know, once you pour all that energy in them cookies, you walk over to them and say, you want a cookie? And when you eat it, you eat it. That voodoo. Now, but we ain't in the voodoo. We in the hoodoo. Because who do? We do. And in this, all things get done and will get redone and renewed once every 24,000 years. See? Because you have a unit in time because everybody's living on the tick and the top. Tick, top. Tick, top. Forgetting that there's a rest that exists in between. Tick, rest. Tick rest, tick rest, that you can only give you to with a metro what? Metronome. Yeah, metatune. <laughs> metronome. What? Tick, tock, tick, tock. But it's tick rest, tock rest, tick rest. And it's in the rest that you will find the rest of what? It. Well, do tell that what they will say to me who am, is, and always will be. Do tell us at Tune Ray completely. And I'll say in the day that you all know that that was somebody else talking about what? God. That wasn't God talking about his what? Self. That was the close encounter, the third kind. Right what? Because it's a third person narrative. And when you find out who narrated your book of Genesis, because keep in mind, the book of Genesis chapter one, you know, or before you get to chapter two, talks about a replenishing of the what? Planet. Now, but they said in the beginning, because they wanted you all to believe that that was the beginning of a thing called what? Time. And time and time again, you all didn't see it, New Orleans. Because alchemy is a horse of a different what? Color. Carrying New Orleans with it, though. Because you got to use sound right reasoning, meaning you got to make good judgment what? Call. But. <laughs> the buck don't stop what? There. It keep on going around and around. And what I mean by that is alchemists, <laughs> they know it's a fact that you can't present hot if you're looking for hot. <laughs> you would have to present what? Cold what? First. See? They tell you about this war in the book of Revelation, but they don't tell you about what the war was being fought, what? Over. And keep in mind, like I said, they wanted you to believe that that was the beginning of a thing called time. Because while we sat in triple darkness, the two political parties, those who supported the square, stood opposite of those who supported the circle saying that all things must come to an end. But how smart were they? If they didn't choose to disinclude themselves, they didn't say all things must come to an end but us. Right. 
Now that's why their own doing is about to become their own unquat. Doing out their own what? Mouth. See, that's why I say words are important. Words carry power. It's one thing to think a thing. It's another thing to speak it, child. Never stand up and say, I know that. Because the minute you do, the high ups will cut your water off and say, okay. He say he know that. Well, he don't need to know no what? More. And you won't get nothing else new. You'll get stagnated right where you was for the rest of yours. Just for being a damn what? Fool. Now, so, what they were doing, they thought they were automatically slick. They started you all off by saying, in the beginning, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. And wanted you to all believe that that was the beginning of a thing called what? Time. But time is broken down into units. You have seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years. Decades, centuries, and you have an equinox. Once every 24,000 years. Like you have 24 elders around the throne. Huh. But the 25th seat is empty. Because it belongs to Sananda Fu. Huh. And Sananda and Sananda Fu. Are two different what? Because Sananda Fu is a combination of two beings. The 13th elder, Kwanasen, of the who it is that I what am, and my father, Yanun. 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 At noon. Yanun. 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 They all been overstand. Because on the other side of the mirror, my name is not at tune, my name is at noon. Ray. It happens at 6 o'clock, but that's 12 o'clock in the day. <laughs> Y'all just don't know stack. How we go in and out the mirror all the what? All the time. <laughs> You're standing there just a looking. <sighs> but blind in the back. Standing there just a little bit blind in the back. Now, well, y'all want to y'all want to keep on playing the game. Well, the game that people play, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. It's about to come to a stop with an octagon designed by the Ugadad, the primordial, the primeval. It wasn't evil at all, because you turn around, prime live, prime life, prime time. Oh, put it on your mind. Because they said, in the what? Beginning. But then they said, they were told to go out, be fruitful, and multiply, and to replenish the what? Plant. Well, when you find out who the narrator of your book of Genesis was, it's not hard to see. Because it says that old serpent called the devil. Him and his Nephiliums, mm -hmm. angelic beings, were cast down. And when you say Nephilim, you say those who were cast what? Down. Mm -hmm. And this, listen, planet is three fourths what? One. So that means three times out of every four, where did they end up? In the, in the ocean. In the water. In the water somewhere. Now watch. If you go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and it says and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved across the face of the waters well that was us <laughs> coming here looking for what? Them two criminals one named watch now because after he became known as Azalzilla when he would not bow down, he then became known as Iblis, the rebellious one. Watch now. Who through his act of rebellion, 200 other 
angelic beings, becoming known as Nephilim, Luciferians. See, because keep in mind the word, the name Lucifer means destroyer of the what? Cipher. Circle. Mm -hmm. He declared himself that when he was what? Cast what? And he was cast down to a place that you all call what? Earth. That was three fourths water. And him it is, Nephilim. Three out of every four times ended up in the what? What? So when it says, in the beginning God created, that's not God talking about his what? Self. Self. Mm -hmm. That's somebody else talking about what? God. And what God done. And it says, in the beginning, God created. Well, if you go to the original Hebrew manuscript, which is not hard to do here today with the internet. Get on Google, type up original Hebrew manuscript of the book of Genesis. You will find out that they purposely mistranslated two words. The word God and the word created. Because it didn't read that. See, in Hebrew, the word to create is pronounced like this. Kalika. Kalika. Like you might meet a sister named Kalika. Or you might meet a brother named Kalik, which means creative. It doesn't say that. It says vara. To make or reconstruct. To make a new. Or reconstruct what? Struck. Well, you won't find the singular form of the word Elohim, which is Elo. And they knew that the word Elohim was plural and not singular. So if they wanted to be as close to proper translation as possible, they would have said in the beginning the gods with an S. Because they knew Elohim was plural and not what? Singular. Because the singular form of the word Elohim is Elo. You follow? Mm -hmm. So, they purposely mistranslated the word God and put the word created in there. Why? Because they wanted you all to believe that that was the beginning of a thing called tick. Top. Tick. Top. And keep in mind, the beginning of time because time is broken down into what? Units. You have seconds, minutes, minutes hours, minutes. days. What do they call their first unit in time? They what? Second. That's how you know. They're starting you out with the second thing, not the first. Because if it was a first, why did they call their first unit in time a first? Because first you have a first, then you have a second. Then you have a third, then you have a fourth. And they called their first unit in time a second. Tick, top. Tick, top. Forgetting that there was a rest. Tick, rest. Top, rest. That can be pointed out to be as factual with a metro. No. Metro tune. <laughs> metro tune. And see, the circle is. In turn, turn in. That then starts to return to its starting point. But when you get past six o'clock, it will appear as if you are moving what? Backwards. But you are not moving backwards. You merely are still moving what? Forward. But appearances are necessary in nature. How do you know? Because the sun only appears to what? Rise. Rise and set. So, it's natural as a nation of people to be concerned with your, ready, appearance. Mm -hmm. And it's through your imagination that you know this to be so because you all are an image-driven mm -hmm. nation of people. 
And when your imagination starts to wonder, you have a whispering demon. Bismillahi ar-Rahmani ar-Rahim. Kulaudu rabbi nas. Maliki nas. Illahi nas. Min shari waswasu kanas. Alladiya wa wissifisi. Hirat wa wissifisi dori nas. Min ajanati one nas. Wa wissifisi. He whispers into the chest. A men and gin. A whispering what? Demon. See, you got to really raise the eyebrow when somebody come talking about somebody else or talking about, like, for instance, if indeed somebody come talking to you about me, you should raise the eyebrow, see? Want to know why? Because the truth of the matter is, <laughs> what would make someone come to you talking about somebody else? See, something has to drive them into that place. See? And you should raise an eyebrow because if somebody comes say, look here, so-and-so said, woo 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 any dog that can bring a bone can carry one too. The reason why you should raise the eyebrow, because if they come talking to you about me, what you think they'll do? Listen, with you. That'll be the same being who will talk about you when your back is what? Turn. Because any dog that'll bring a bone will carry one too. And how long do we a man and woman before you stop with the tabloid? You know, exploiting and exploring in places you shouldn't go in what? Be. Because judgmental monkeys are just that. They cheating themselves because they're not as smart as the orangutan or the mandrill, of which Tehuti symbol is a baboon. Because you can't bamboozle, listen, Hermes. Mm -hmm. And he was not the Trimagistas. That was the Greek, whose name was Poppy. And you have to keep in mind the capital it's called cartoon. Mm. When you get the word cartoon from. So if you all want a blessing, you go back and get you some Popeye. The black and white ones. Mm. The one that first came out. And you all will get a blessing. Mm. And only the real Messiah can point you, listen, toward that blessing. Because nobody knows where the nose goes. But you don't cut your nose off because you're mad at your what? Because God knows you're going to need that nose. <laughs> yeah, to know the difference between shit and what? Because can't never good do nothing. And goodness can't what? Cousin. Cousin. No family of yours. Or mine. You all are the royal family of mind. And mind, which lets you know you're going to mind what? Somebody. Somebody, child. See, and without question, the book of Psalms tells you, what now? Mm -hmm. For I told them, them Sanhedrin, as they threw rocks at me. I said, for what, did he, for what reason are you throwing rocks at me? Many good things from my father have I shown you. And they said, for the good things you do, we do not stone thee, but for the blasphemy, the lie uh -huh. you told. Why? Because you make of thyself what? God. And indeed you are not. And I said, isn't it written in your law? In your book of Psalms 82, 
6. It says that I said, all of ye are gods and children of the most what? High. But don't forget, I am not a child of the most high. Though I am the child, I'm an elder of the most high. And there's a big what? Difference. Difference. Say, 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 while you tick, tock, tick, tock, all the good things away from you, because you don't take the time to rest and figure what? By using your own mind this time. Because again, if that wasn't God talking about himself, the question is, who was it? And it's real easy to know. Because that old serpent mm -hmm. called the devil, him and his nephilims were cast down to the planet. Making it where three times out of every four, they ended up in the water, you know. And it said darkness was upon the face of the deep. How and why? Because we split this planet in half. And there was, listen, no sunshine. See? 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 And you have to remember now, light had to be what? Let in. And we were here reconstructing the planet. Because that's the way nature what? Planned it. Because if you do something that takes the natural order of things away. The mark of excellence is by moving immediately toward correction of your mistake. And if you move one thing in that battle, we crazy and everything what changes. Well, we had to move not just one, we move two. Totally destroy one planet and split this planet in half. That's why we're here doing what we got to what? <laughs> see? 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 Tick, rest. Top, rest. Tick, rest. Top, rest. And you'll find the rest of it. And know that every word I'm saying is indeed true. Ask your witness self. The little voice that speaks inside of you because each one of you have a discerning what? Spirit. Yeah. Have the power of discernment where that little voice, your spirit of what? Discernment tells the truth. It will tell you if indeed what I say is not true or if indeed it is. Because when the truth is told, you can feel it. It's called a genetic explosion. Mm -hmm. And each one of y'all know, you feeling me. Because <laughs> I feel you. Nivers, nivers, niggers, niggers. Niggers. See? 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 Now the one fly of all is the one that lies today what? In the day you stop lying to yourself, you'll have the ability, bro, to tell the truth to your wife. You'll have the ability, sister, to tell the truth to your husband, even if it be against thyself. Because you'll know that indeed, if they can't accept the truth, that's not your problem, that's theirs. And so they still got some growing to do. If indeed you done lay down with another, Brother, sister, whoever you may be, might as well fess up entirely. Because everything you do in the dark will come to the light eventually. And so, in that, you have to know the narrator of the story. How do you know? Because they were in the water. And you would have to say, well, if the Spirit of God was moving across the face of the water and darkness covered the face of the what? Deep. Where were you to be able to see that? Mm -hmm. 
the narrator. You would have had to have been in the water looking what? Up. Because that's where he was, demon Nephilim. Mm -hmm. In the water, looking up. And you saw, listen, as you saw, our ships, our crafts, with those gigantic spotlights, looking for y'all. Yeah, we were. And we hovered across the waters, looking. As it was so dark, couldn't see nothing but our spotlights from them ships. Lit up everything like daytime. And y'all were down there hiding them demons, the Philiums, you know, the ones who take everything positive and turn it negative. It's real easy to see a demon child. You say, look, the kids made some cookies. Yeah, but I bet the hands were dirty. Look at the mess they made in the kitchen. <laughs> take everything positive and turn it what? Negative. negative. And let me tell you now, if indeed I'm the devil and I'm able to work my diabolical schemes by, by virtue of sitting in the seat that you can't see me, and here come along some nappy-headed Negro named Elijah what? Pooh! You know who? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who says, there he is, that's the devil. And he's sitting in the seat. Of the white what? Man, answer me a question. Are you going to stay sitting there after your seat done been pointed out and you can't work your diabolical schemes no more because everybody know where you're sitting now? Or are you going to get up and move? <laughs> well, they done moved. Sure they did. Move right into what? Us. Hmm. Well, now you got some black devils that's worse than white devils get out of what? B. See? 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 Because before your Amorite, Canaanite, Hittite, you always say there wasn't nothing white. Now I say, oh, you're wrong. Because the Ashtar command was there, what? Two. 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 Mm. Too many times, too many places, too much has been said, all of it wrong. Like ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Don't you know that it was a violation of galactical law to employ your life form into the water of another planet? See, because by way of a watch amoeba, which is different from a amoeba, amoeba. See, see, see. Because after our command was after one thing, our fertility. So they had to create the most unfertile act known in every way there ever could possibly be. See, see, see. While we were involved in the homo sapien project, they were involved in the homo sexual project. And see, they took on the flag of the rainbow, which is the flag of the gay community right here, what? Yeah. Today, because they know a little more alchemy than what? You. They know that which is not must be presented first. So, because they are not every color of the rainbow, pure white light beings vibrating only up to a sixth density where color shows itself as indigo blue as you get to seven density and every color of the rainbow thereof up to nine density. And density is not ether. Ether is the chemical that gives life to the body and also establishes hair texture. So you have six ether, seven ether, eight ether, and nine ether. <coughs> six ether comes out the follicle creating Listen, the number six, they call it flank. You call it straight. Flank merely means dead. Why? Because that's the least, that is the least amount of ether that the human body can have without being dead. Which is why they got to jump out of airplanes and shit like that. Bungee jump and, you know, a uh, 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 parachute. And you don't see no nigga up there doing that shit. Motherfucker, I don't know. Just walk over here. how high are we up? 10,000 feet? Go ahead and jump. No, you go ahead first. <laughs> When I sit down, I'm waiting to the motherfucker land. Yeah. Said, you got to push a nigga out that motherfucker. I ain't going out there. 
to try to deceive everyone, but they didn't anticipate me <laughs> and Bob and Tuhuti, knowing where they know what. The whole thing, nothing but the whole thing, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me what? At tune rate, at tune rate, and you don't want to see my brother out move, what? right? Because he took the job, don't nobody want. He's the angel, Israel. When you see him, they call him the hidden one, see? When you see him, he walking your butt back to the east of the ground saying it's all over, you're dead now. <laughs> he squeezes the body. I mean, the, the, the soul squeezes the life form from the human body vessel. It's a very ugly thing, see? And that's the job that nobody wants. And whether you want to call them Grim Reaper or whatever one of you, I don't care what you call them because our moon ray is still a sun. That's the day that the moon will return back to having life. Because in the state that it's in now, it's dead. The moon has no life of its what? own is a reflection of the sun's what? Light. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. And what I will say to you all is this. That's right. Our story must be renewed. Well, we come down here with the water, right? Looking for them food. You had, what? Lucifer and his Nephilim. And you had Aquaman and his ass star what? Command. We see the hands up. What now? Who did the dog pack? Because they couldn't swim unless they had a suit. And that's why when they get out of the water here today, they smell like dogs to you. That's that mange. Not every pale person carries it. But there's many pale people who come from you. Because Amorites have a right too, you know. Last time I came only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This time I come to y'all. Meaning, listen, our Amorite brothers and sisters too. Y'all might say, well, why do you send friend requests to them? And I say, because I'm here sent to the whole world now. 
And they need to be turned around too. Need to be cleansed and wiped. Cleansing some dirty shit that they got up in them, just like you got dirty shit up in you. And in the word Messiah, that's what it means. One who takes some dirty and wipes it, what? Clean. See, see, see. see, see. No, I see. What you better say instead of saying okay. Because this is not the okay corral. And this is not Wonderland, and your name ain't Alice. But Humpty Dumpty did sit on the wall. <laughs> First he humped you, then dumped you. See? That's the niggas that wanna, you know, knock all the spit out your mouth, child, for saying things to provoke them. Well, see, ain't no more of that. Because this is a fact. When you become emotional, you become irrational. When you become irrational, you lose all common what? Sense. And you lose all sense of, listen, control. You lose control. See? And it's hard if you're a solar being to attach yourself to lunar energy. You pull up into a lunar gas station and put that nozzle in your solar car, woman, if you want to. And let that abomination spew up in you. Huh. You go, you see, you when you get the guys, you go, tick, 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 See? And see, when you attach yourself to lunar energy as a solar being, you become a tick. And in that, that means you become a lunar what? Tick. Literally, you start going crazy. Out your what? Mind. See? Because in a real way, your diabolical plan have happened a long time ago when we was on at Master John's house. And I was called John's son. And he'd come out there and say, Sally, get your ass up and come in the house. <laughs> we. A lot of things happened. Brought you on into the 1930s. And you be in the mirror looking over your shoulder at that, what, crack. Mm -hmm. See, see, see. Because the planet thinks it's ugly. So it keeps looking behind it. It keeps looking at its being what? Hind. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Keep looking over his shoulder. And it's B, what? Hind. Because he knows the sun is right behind him. Touching it at his equator. And what y'all do? Y'all become, what? Volcanoes. Spew out hot milk molten lava. As the sun touches you at your equator. How about you all starting to try to equate yourselves with us? See? As the brother's telling you everything that you need to do to hold yourself in place, child. You look at those folks, listen, ships that are sent to you like as if there are a, listen, a noose around your neck. But they are a noose sent to you. <laughs> the very thing to hold you in place and to keep you from spinning out of your orbit, which is spelled O-R-B-I-T. Which means, or be it. And you might say, what? And I say, a damn fool. Spin out if you want to. Spew out hot molten lava. Trying to equate yourself, you see, with the sun in its light. As it touches you at your equator and sends you to thinking about yourself, child. Which is something you don't want to what? Do. Said, I ain't asked that nigga for shit. He just gave it to me. I ain't got to sell my body to get what I want because I ain't asked him for shit. He just gave it to me. Why? Because he's a fool. And that's what fools do. Yeah, but you implied though. And what a dirty little game you played, which went all the way back to the 1930s, by the way, when your little sister be standing there looking at you, looking in the mirror over your shoulder at your butt with that tight dress on. And she said, ooh, where you get that? Oh, I got this from my hunky. Oh, my hunky. Well, who are you hunky? And you hear the horn.
song go honk, honk, honk. And you'll run out there where your mama can't see you. See, because the road on the other side of the hedge, you run, you know, behind the house, then come behind the hedge, and then you get in the car real quick and be gone. But you're honking now, and he grabbed you right by the head, and you hear, go, go, go. And see, everybody want to be loved. Yep. And we're talking to grown folk now, to our brother. Brother, if you ain't careful and you lay your head back and you close your eyes, and you getting some head, and I'm not saying not to. See, you might think you in the coolie, because both are soft and what? Wet. But no matter how much that lip service <laughs> will render unto you, it will not produce the baby. Because you can go up, up, up all day long and no baby's coming out of what? That. And the truth of the matter is, because it's a fact, that everybody want to be loved. Everybody want to be loved. And so, close your eyes, you might think you're in the cootie. But true love produces. It don't just talk the talk. It's there when you need it the most. It don't run off on you and tell you I love you, but I'm no longer in love with you. That's the statement of a fool. Because you ain't fooling me, you're only fooling your what? So. Because if you run off mid-sentence, that means you lied to me when you first told me you loved me. And what you said wasn't true, and you were lying to yourself the same way you were lying to you, and you, it didn't start to lie to me too. And then it went round and round. Well, that's over and done now. Because the rays of righteousness, the sun of righteousness, is rising with healing in his wing. And it should take away root and branch. Huh. Whole family tree. The sun and the sky will be used as a means of retribution. Huh. As we swing on around in the sun cycle, see? And we're coming on around to the day there's going to be a sermon on the mound. And that day, a long time ago, I fed a bunch of people with some fish and a couple of Little, little loaves of bread. This time, I'm going to teach everybody else how to multiply too. I figured why well, feed you for one day when I can feed you for a lifetime with this alchemy. Not long now. Not long now. Because I'm going to tell you just like this. Yeah, it was Lucifer that put you in the cold twist. Because he narrated your book of Genesis. Him and his Luciferians under the water were looking up. We came here looking for him. Went down in the water to so dark you couldn't see nothing. Couldn't find him nowhere. And we set up the underwater world of Marin. Lu means destroyer of and they declared themselves Lumerians. Because one day Instead of us looking for them, they came looking for what? No. Wow. And when they did, you heard the sound. Ten, nine, eight, hmm. seven. Because before we give anything sensitive to them, we'll blow the whole thing what? <laughs> Up. That's why y'all better understand that underneath your feet, 7,000 miles down, is a son that belonged to me. Huh. The mind, the sympathy. Yeah. Huh. They harm one hair on my head. Gonna get dark real quick. Cause you gonna hear another sound, gonna be like this. Click, boom! Figure it out. Cause that sun is a nuclear. We'll leave that one right what? Yeah. And it's only one in the sky. 
See, actual serving the slave to who? Us. Who <laughs> too? <laughs> yeah, you too. Like you too. <laughs> and Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Walk around like the ball. Got a little blue thing on you, go boop, 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 half man, half machine. Well, the ball rolls around in a little square ship. Mm -hmm. A cube, it ain't Nibiru. <laughs> Cause they stand on the square too. Looking for an angle how to deal with how to deal with me and you. <laughs> yeah. That's what day we live in what? In, right? What? Yeah. Cause yes is a definite positive response. No is a definite negative. And what I'm gonna tell you right now is the truth. We come out that water and we declare we at we at land now, at land. And we walk from there, becoming known as nomos, the fish people, who knew the most, established in a place called Mesopotamia, where they messed up everything that was pertaining to you and me, through a person named Nana, who had a listen. A granddaughter named, listen, Ishtar 2. Not Ishtar 1, Ishtar 2. And on her way to be married, to me, 70 day horse and camel ride, she aligned herself with Ashtar Command, becoming a sacrificial goat for attunement. Meant for who? Attun. By do a free will offering, becoming the first female to involve herself, Nubian female, to involve herself in the same sex union act. See, because they needed somebody to stand in representation of us all. See? And so she stopped in that desert, and that's when she changed her name from Ishtar to Ishtar. Ishtar, Ashtar, same thing. Easter, same thing. <laughs> Y'all better know. Who then became known as Astate. No, first she was called Astate, Astaroth. Then she became known as what? Afro, uh, Aphrodisiac. Watch this. Dinah, Venus, and then Sin. Hmm. And I said, let he or she who is without sin cast the first what? Because that ether had touched everybody. Which is why the Moonzi, my father, changed his name at 24 years old in the land of uh, Mesopotamia after Tuhuti was pushed into the desert by his brother Nana, being told to seek out new land. And right before he was about to die, he discovered the Nile River. And established Tamaray, he was flourished. Day by day, quite faster than Mesopotamia ever did. Which then arranged the marriage of what is taught to and me, who was the grandson of Tuhuti, because they wanted to keep the money in the family. And that was because Nana begged Tuhuti to let his grandson marry his granddaughter, whose name became Ishtar, who came into Tamare, declaring her new name to be I Nana, wearing the mask of Nana, I Nana, because she was saying I'm Nana, because Nana at that point was suffering from Alzheimer's disease for, listen, for partaking in the death or the murder of, uh, listen, Hammerambai. Because when Baba changed his name from Dumuzi to Hammerambai, he put the hammer down, he became known as Rabboni Hamoud. Lord who praises all the time, or Lord who put the hammer what? Yeah. Down. And he wrote the code of Hammerambai, which dealt with sexual what? Ethics. First, and then became the first laws ever be to ever to be written. And I'm about to. Fulfill the order of my father, because my 
Father has ordered me to rewrite the code of what? Which I will be doing shortly. I'm coming out with a book called The New and New Code of Hammer and Buy. Because by and by, you all will no longer be fools. And you won't say, by me, you'll say, so long. Because it's been such a long time, yeah, since I've seen you. Tell me, how long has it been? Oh, nigga, please. And I saw you there, ooh, and your laughter seemed to fill the air. Ooh, ooh, a scent like perfume from your lovely hair, a scent that I do adore. My heart said to me, don't walk head on into misery. With your eyes wide open, can't you see a hurts in the store? Just like before. Oh, 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 oh. Here you go again, walking in to love. Here I go again, walking in to love. No, never thinking of the danger that might exist. Because the road to rebirth is long and steep and oftentimes dangerous. Disregarding all of this, just for you. Ooh, ooh. I ignore the detour signs. I won't stop until you're mine. I'm past the point of no return. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> When you walk by, I, 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 and I said to me, myself, and I, 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 now we got to give it one more try. I know some, I, 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 the time is now, right now. Y'all didn't know, but more love and more joy the age of time could ever destroy. My heart. Oh, Lord, have mercy, because more, more, more. More, more, more. Huh. Yeah. This is no fiction. This is a fact. It's real. It's a fact. I'll uh, only take you to make you, I'm giving you more love and more joy. The age of time could ever destroy. Yeah, y'all better know it. Nicholas. <laughs> yeah. I love y'all. That's right. Real love, too. Yeah. And it's real. Showing up. Because I find myself in wonder why I've been misused. Love brings understanding. How can you be confused? A war and poverty, uh -huh. was it meant to be? The hate is driving me away because I am love and I love to stay. Yeah. I find myself in wonder why I've been misused. Love brings understanding. How can you be confused? A war and poverty uh -huh, was meant to be. The hate is driving me away because I and love, and I love to stay, yeah. Cause long ago, and oh so far away, I fell in love with you, before the 
second show and your guitar it sounds so sweet and clear though you're not really here it's just the radio block talk radio don't you remember you told me you love me baby Said you'll be coming back this way again, baby. Yes, baby, baby, baby. Oh, oh, baby. I love you. I really do. Long ago. And oh, so far away. I fell in love with you before the second show. And your guitar, it sounds so sweet and clear. Though you're not really here, it's just the radio. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? Said you'd be coming back this way again, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, oh, baby. I love you. I really do. Now go out and love others. Like you now know that I love you. In the transmission box, it, bang it, and put it out there. Hold that.